Hello everyone, welcome to Shabita Uganda. Uh, Shabita Uganda e-learning platform. You can email us at e-learning at shabita.net or you can contact me on 0708-990034. Today's topic is about transatlantic trade. In this lesson, we shall look at By the end of this lesson, learners should be able to know reasons why trade traders came into Africa, trade companies, transatlantic trade, effect of this trade, reasons why it was necessary to stop self trade in Africa. So we're going to look at the reasons why traders came into Africa. One, they wanted market for their goods, they wanted raw materials for their home industries, they wanted to get new areas for investment. They wanted to invest their surplus capital. We shall look at the trade companies in East Africa. These were companies that were created to carry out trade, and of this included Ibeaco, Imperial British East African Company, was formed to administer East Africa on behalf of the British, and it was formed by Sir William Mackinnon. Okay, the second company, trade company, was called Gieco. German East African Company and was formed to administer Tanganyika on behalf of Germans and formed by Carl Peters. We shall look at the transatlantic trade. This was the trade between Europe, South Africa, North America, across Atlantic Ocean. It was referred to as a tri triangular since the trade routes formed the triangular shape when formed illustration you see from Europe to America and from America to South Africa from South Africa to Europe and from Europe to North America that's why they called it triangular triangular since it formed a triangle triangle so we shall look at the effects of this trade human suffering due to slave trade and so on the population in some parts of Africa new diseases like measles led to introduction of new crops like cocoa Led to decline of African craftsman industry. Thank you very much for watching. We love you so much. Feel free to email us at ilan or contact me on 0759 Subscribe in case you are new. We love you so much. God bless.